All right, welcome, welcome everyone. We got a a fascinating thing happened today, and I'm going to be joined um, by two lovely ladies. Um, one of those is Hella Gilling. Hella, raise your hand. Hey, everybody. Hella, Hella is one of our EFT masters, recently certified, all of that, and her client who has had a first class experience, and that's Jan Smith. Jan, raise your hand if you would. Jen, I understand that you have now what you call new hips. Is that right? That is correct. I'm very, very excited about it, too. Okay. Well, one of the things we really want to emphasize, we're going to talk about your new hips, the way they were before, and then you worked with Hella, and then the way they were after, where they are now. Okay. And, and they've been that way for how long? At least 15 years, maybe a little more than 15 years. No, I mean the new hips. Oh, the, the new, new hips? Yeah. Oh, gosh. When did we stop working, Hella? About, it's, um, it's, been about, about? it's been about a month and a half. Has it okay. been that long? Ooh, All right. Okay. About well, a month. Yeah. My understanding is before we ever had this conversation was that you and Hella were working on some heavily charged emotional specific events which which we do with our advanced work with optimal eft and so on and you weren't aiming at physical things like your hips or for that sure. matter or for that matter you also had a pulse problem yes De describe that your normal pulse used to be like low 60s like most people but yours went up to in the 80s 90s and 100 am i, am I right at the highest, it was around 100, yes. Yeah, okay. It really concerned me. It wasn't coming back down. And as a result of your work with Hella, not only did your hips, and we'll get to the details in a bit, not only did your hips get magically better, improved, all yes. problems gone, but so did your blood pressure, and so did maybe an 80 or 90% improvement in some kind of dermatitis in your ears. Am I correct? That's correct. That's correct. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So we want to get into some details on that. So because we have a listening audience who might want to know how that happened because there was no medicine involved. I got that right? Right. Okay. That's correct. All right. Um, so if you would, Jan, talk about talk about your hips. Let's just take your hips, okay, and, and tell me – the severity of those, how long you've you had the hip problem, this kind of thing. Can you give me a little background? Yeah, they they really, really were bothering me for over 15 years. And I was having a lot of trouble walking um, extensively. You know, it was it was always if people wanted to do something and it entailed a lot of walking. I wasn't able to do it and it really bothered me. And I really thought I was going to end up in a wheelchair at some point because my hips were so bad. They used to wake me up at night. They were ache and I'm just assuming it was arthritis or something, but it was really debilitating. And I used to say to my husband, well, my hips were humming last night. I didn't get much sleep. You know, I mean, literally, they woke me up. For, for, and, roughly, for roughly 15 years. Yeah, yes. Okay. Do, uh, uh, do I, we, you and I didn't talk about this, but, but just let me ask you, uh, did you uh, consult physicians about this and they took x-rays or something like that? Uh, well, I'm going to be honest, physicians kind of want to write a prescription, and I was trying to do it in a more natural, okay. treat it more naturalistically. Okay. And I, w I did take some enzymes, which seemed to help it a lot, but it was still very um, hit or miss, you know? Okay. So, so as far as the medical profession is concerned, uh, you didn't go to doctors and you just, I didn't have x-rays, no. Okay, sure. Okay, great. All right. All right. So, but you just you just live with it, hoping you could take care of it somehow holistically. Yes. All right. Uh, but I gather from what you're saying that you were not having a high rate of success? Correct. 
All right. They kind of made it tolerable for me, but it didn't. It didn't resolve it the way it is now. I mean, okay. I have new hips now. I mean, it's just amazing. I I feel strong on my on my legs, my feet. Um, they just I don't even think about my hips anymore. It's just like having new hips. It's wonderful. Well, I I'm uh, I'm speaking for some of our audience out there now who uh, have either had a hip operation, they have a new hip, you know, because they, they affected, I have a orthopedic surgeon friend who calls that operation a total hip. That's what they call it. He puts in a new hip that's made out of titanium or something. But there are lots of people out there who have new hips, but they're not made out of bone and natural stuff and everything else. Mm -hmm. So, all right, now let me turn to Hella for a second. Hella, uh, you didn't even know, if I understand right, you didn't even know, um, as a therapist in this, you did not even know that the hip problem existed. No, she just she came to me mainly for the for the heart rate issue. She was very concerned about the heart, so we we focused on on events that you know were emotionally charged, and I had no idea there was a hip problem at all. Yeah, it, it, it's, um, what, what am I going to say? It's, it, it's like almost common sense to think, well, okay, we have these emotional issues and we can see how that might raise somebody's heart rate, okay? Because I mean, that even happens when we're angry about something, now our heart rate goes up, okay? Uh, so, so, so that was kind of an obvious thing. What is not obvious to most people is those emotional issues can also cause hip problems, diseases of every kind uh, that we have. And it's just people may know that intuitively, but it's not the kind of thing that's talked about as a front and center issue. With our course, it's a front and center issue. We, we take care of emotional issues, create personal peace, and then physical things happen. That's your experience, Ella? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. It's, so I had nothing to do with it. So, so you had one session with Jan for the heart rate. Uh, we, we had, it, it took, uh, after the first session, the heart rate improved, but then it came back. And so it was on and off. So for the first, it took three sessions before the heart rate stabilized, but the hips got better right away. Okay. And in those, and you did, well, okay. In those three sessions, um, you were, give me an estimate. How many emotionally charged specific events did you aim at during those three sessions? Do you recall? We, pro we probably worked on four or five total in those three sessions. Oh, okay. And, and from a zero to 10 basis, where do they go start with eight or nine or 10 down to? They, they were what? all up there, yeah. yeah. And they went down to zero? One yes, they did. And they were tested and tested. And they went down to zero and they stayed zero. Okay, good. And then the third session, she's telling you, voila, I, I'm not having any hip problems. Yeah, she kept saying, she kept saying that like the first time she told me, I was like, oh, I didn't know I had heart, uh, hip problems. So, so the hip problem, she kept saying, well, no, it's still there. It's still there. And after the third session, the heart rate settled in. And as far as I know, that's still good. Yeah, she was telling me before we recorded that it's still down in the low 60s. Awesome. Awesome. Amen. Is that right, Jan? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you did not you did not even know Hella that she had a a serious hip problem. Fifteen years and headed for a wheelchair and or a walker or something like that. Uh, you did say that, didn't you, Jen? I honestly thought I was going. I might. I was aiming for a wheelchair, and I didn't want to end up in a wheelchair. All right. So there, now, was, there was not a concern because her she was so concerned about her heart. The day the, of the first session, she checked her heart rate in the morning and it was 88. Mm. And yeah. then the next morning after the first session, she was all excited because it dropped way down. It, it was down to 61 already. And then, you know, it was a little up and down there for a couple of weeks. But then 
it was settled. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, so when you say new hips, I presume, Dan, if your husband is willing, you could go out dancing tonight. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I can walk. Um, in fact, I have done that. We went out to a festival in town here and I walked all day long. No problem. Yeah. Okay. One more. Let's finish up with one more thing. And that's the dermatitis in the ear. Somehow or other you had some kind of a version of eczema. Uh, they, the doctor just said dermatitis and he wrote a prescription for cortisone cream, but I actually um, use an over-the-counter cream, which is, which works. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you but were, now I don't, I don't use it every day anymore. I mean, I only use it when I feel it getting a little itchy, which is not very often at all. Well, do I, do I remember that that uh, <laughs> used to be like maybe once a day you'd put that on and now it's and sometimes twice a day, mm -hmm. sometimes twice. And now it's like once a week, once a week. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's not done yet, but that's, that's a fair improvement. Okay. Yes. It's a wonderful improvement. All right. Well, listen, I, this has been very useful. I hope to our audience, you guys have anything else you'd want to add? I just want to encourage um, people who are having health issues to give the unseen therapist a chance to solve those, uh, those problems they're having because I am a, a very satisfied client of Hella's and uh, she's going to be seeing me again. And I just hope people will, will give it a try. Well, we have lots that are... Lots of them giving it a try. And this, this, I hope, is going to give them more motivation and fill in some blanks for them and so on. Hella, anything else? Well, I, I just want to point out how you don't even need to know what's behind any one particular issue. Just, just work on the emotional pain, work on whatever issues there are, and then we see what clears up. Yeah. And, yeah. and it goes, I mean, it goes so fast because I did not try to figure out all what was going on with her hip or anything. I mean, unseen therapist took care of it without me doing much of anything yeah. other than digging, digging a little bit to find the heartache. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and to our audience, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.